Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 102 of Daryl20's Let's Play series, uh, where today I'd like to do a little bit more create, because I'm having fun with this mod, as usual. Super fun mod. Uh, so just noting here that I uh, created a couple recipes and, and set up some of like the, the crafting stuff that we're going to want to set up. So I replaced the chest with an interface, I set up the crafters. Uh, so I should be able to create uh, a precise mechanism here. So if I hit that, boom. And now we're cooking. How cool is that? That's pretty good. Not too shabby. Uh, now over here I set up a similar thing. Uh, so if I want like 10 more andesite casings, this should work. Sweet. How cool is that? I love it. Uh, what I did on this side is I used just an export bus uh, to, to put the andesite alloys in here. I could absolutely do the same thing over here, but I was kind of like, you know, showing off mechanical arms last episode. Like, you know, part of what I do in this series is I want to show you guys all the different things. So it's funny, I'll get two kinds of comments. One, Dyer, it would have been so much easier if you had used this mod. And then other people are like, Dyer, why do you always use that mod? <laughs> it's like, it's a balance that you gotta do uh, sometimes when you're doing the YouTubes. Uh, but long story short, uh, we're good here. I've got a lot of stress capacity, like a lot, a lot, uh, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, today I want to automate a few more pieces of what we're going to be making, and then we can get into training. All right, so let's take a look at what I might want to do today. One thing I'd like to do is automate brass if I can. Uh, as a reminder, brass is just zinc plus copper, but it needs to be heated by a blaze burner. And I'd like to do this in an efficient way that does not waste coal. <clears throat> so let's see what we can come up with. So first things first, we're definitely going to want to get uh, a mixer here. And if I could do it in a way that's not horrible, that would be awesome. That's the trick, though, isn't it? Where can I... I'm, I'm kind of, like, figuring out how I want the layout of this whole area to look, you know what I mean? Like, there's, uh, there's a lot of things to automate. I'm just kind of laying it out in, like, a big flat area, so I'm not super crazy about it, but, eh, it'll be fine. Like, we could start here for, like, our next batch of, of processing of machines and stuff. Does that sound like a pretty good, pretty good dude? Now, the trick with the mixer is that you totally need to throw a gear on it. Um, and that might be easier said than done, but we'll figure it out. Uh, so I'm going to want a tiny little small gear. Do I have any of those? I might be low on gears. Are we low on gears? Uh, what are those things called? Oh, cogwheels, right? Missing. Why do you have that in your recipe? How did that happen? In, in what location do we have a non can do anything wood? Uh, Hang on, let me figure this out. Oh, is that why? Oak planks and a shaft is a cogwheel. And a shaft with two oak planks is a large cogwheel. Okay. Maybe it's the shaft recipe? No. So, do what now? Maybe it's the... Do we not have an oak wood recipe? We may not. Is, is that even possible? I guess so. I guess that's possible. How do we not have one of those recipes set up already? Well, crisis averted. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we stick this on here. Um, and what we could do is probably turn this into a vertical gearbox. Right, so that's the same thing. And then if we wanted to, we could link these up with belts. And that seems pretty cool. Okay, cool. That's step one. Step two is going to be to get a blaze burner here. Okay, so we're going to want an empty blaze burner. I need, like, a more reliable way to get these. 
I guess that'll work. Let me just get some more iron plates ready. Because I know we're going to need them at some point, right? Cool. What can I put away for a moment? That'll do. Inventory full, as always. Soul cage and blazes. Get ready. Hello, friends. Not a big deal. Hey, that was not supposed to be that. There we go, that's better. Wow, harm burns through your mana, no, no problem, huh? Okay, so that's all sorted now. Sweet. And put that junk away. So I'm going to stick a blaze burner under him. And we're going to use another mechanical arm, right? Uh, which I should be able to craft, no problem, now that we have all the components to craft it. Let's use our mining laser to clear out a little bit of an area underground here. Because I'm going to do a little bit, and I'm going to try, like I said, to do a majority of automation using either vanilla mechanics or create components, right? I'm obviously using some refined storage because... That's what I'm doing. And that's okay. Uh, but what I'd like to do is I'd like to have... Um, so I've got this depot over here with charcoal on it already. I don't know what the range of these arms is, but I wonder if it's too far. Could you go possibly from here to here? One inputs and one outputs? I mean, it looks like it's cool. Maybe? I guess step one would be to find out um, if we got some gears here. Where's those tiny gears that I just made? That should technically work. Wow, he can reach all the way over there. Sweet. Now here's the trick with mechanical arms. You ready? Levers stop them. So a redstone signal equals no more. Right? So what if we did a redstone torch... Okay. Cool. And I'm just going to break and replace you to demonstrate. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, if we did a comparator output here. Okay. Notice how I already have a comparator ready to go. Because that's the kind of dire that I am. Um, what would be a good way to, like, step that down? Now, clearly I could use, like, laser I.O. or something cool to kind of get that going. I don't suspect that would work, right? If we just got... I don't think it matters what goes in there, but anything goes in? Yeah, see how there's a... There's definitely a redstone signal coming out there, but... Um... Yeah. How do you get redstone to go down in vanilla Minecraft? Well... Thinking what I'm doing so far is working, actually. I'm curious what the range on these mechanical arms even is. Um, but if I put... If I put the torch here... We're going to need a repeater. We, we are... You know, alternatively, we could laser I.O. it, but meh, trying to avoid that. But what if it's something like this? Not, you know, the best redstone ever in the world, but you ready? So if this guy's off, okay, and an item goes in there, he'll start fueling. And when the items are gone, he'll stop fueling. Is that cool? I like that. That could be cool. Right? And your job is to make brass. So you get a filter recipe. Um, and then we just need to insert and extract the resources from there for crafting. Yeah? Is that, is that nifty? Uh, now, if I put blocks here... Well, you know what I could do? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Hold on to your horses. 
Do you think this would work? That actually works right there. That seems to be doing it. That's way more compact. Look at that. Look at Dyer being good at vanilla redstone. All right, good's a stretch, but, but, it may be a stretch, but, you know, still. Now, what if I put it underneath? Can I put the redstone torch underneath there? Does a redstone signal on top propagate down to the block below? Is Dyer playing? Oh. It does not. Well, no, it propagates up. Yes, no, that makes perfect sense, wouldn't it? Yes, that would make perfect sense, wouldn't it? It doesn't propagate down to here, though, right? If you're on? I didn't think so. Yeah, I think what I had before was pretty darn good, actually. That works for me, right? Yeah, that's cool. I'm down with that. And look, it's super clean and compact if you cover it up and you don't look at it. <laughs> Alright, so let's see about getting this stuff into and out of here. Does that sound cool? Uh, what I'm thinking is we could do some belts. And here's a quick reminder is when you have belts and there's um, a, a belt next to a basin or something else that the basin can dump into, uh, the basin will have this little thing rendering here indicating like, hey, I can, you know, put stuff in here. Uh, what if we had a crafter facing up? And then we had a chest here, and this would be our input chest. Does that sound cool? Uh, and then I would like an interface for this to go into. Um, but you know what I could do? Can't I do, can I do a shoot underneath this guy? I think I can. And wouldn't that cause items to fall through? Maybe not until the belt's running. That would be cool, though. And then we could interface it down here. Because part of my problem is going to be the rotation of things. That's going to be... That could be cool, right? And then we could just do that. That could be neat. Kind of like that idea, right? So you go that way, and then I need you to go the opposite direction. So let's start with how are we going to get you going here. So what I should be able to do... is get you and a vertical gearbox are you on the right way you are awesome and now i want to reverse that for the other dude so i'd like you running the opposite direction it's so tricky sometimes to figure out how to get your uh rotations going What I should really be doing is kind of like, I should have all this stuff underground would really be the right and cool way to do it. Should I relocate some of these things to be more undergroundy so that it is less messy looking up top? Would that be cool? I feel like that would be cool. I feel like that could be cool. So since we're not really using this speed upgrade because that redstone signal is off, what if we um, had a vertical gearbox here? And then we could have... Um, if I put the stressometer right here, is that cool? I think so. Yeah, that works. And then we could go down under the ground. How about I clear out under there with my laser real quick? And that might be cooler. Let's make you a 3x3 three three range and precision mode off. Okay. And I might want you to be a little bit less messy. Right? So we clear out underground here. Yeah, let me do this real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this area out and then. In my brain, it's coming together a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
Now remember, mining gadgets don't break tile entities. Which is super useful if you think about it. It will break redstone though. So don't forget that. And then maybe down one more. Okay, be right back. All right, so here's what I'm thinking, right? All the all the gears and stuff will go in the basement. Does that sound cool? Could be, could be cool. Uh, what I think I can even do if I really want to. Oh, wrong. Long thing. What I think I can actually do, check this out. I'm pretty sure this will work. I think I can rotate these, can't I? I can. Oh, well, that's neat. Uh, in fact, I could even... I could probably even do this. Sweet. Okay, cool. So each one of these generates 16,000, right? So if we put the, um, the this dude on it, see, 32,000, right? So without this, it's 16, okay? With that, and then rotate it, and it's 32, nice. And then that can go straight down to here. And an Enderman. Wow. Just to troll me. Right? How cool is that? I like that. So that way we can kind of do all our gear stuff from underground a little bit better. And that might be cool. I like the sound of that. So for example, this guy is a vertical gearbox. So what I could do... Uh, actually... Is he also a vertical gearbox? He is. Okay, good. So what I could do is kind of get him spinning and we'll see if he's spinning the right way if not we'll just kind of figure it out okay uh so let's see first let's let's get this guy going first so he'll need to be a vertical gearbox right like so okay and we'll mess with the redstoney bits in a minute But what we could have then is probably something like this. And this. Now that's backwards. So we're going to want to reverse that with another vertical gearbox. Cool. Now that's sending actually... Nope, that was the right way. I forgot. It's upside down when you're looking at it from the bottom. See? So that's correct, right? That's how we want it feeding in. Sweet. Okay, cool. And then uh, we could probably do something like this. To Let's do it to here and see what happens. Does that sound cool? Does that rotate everything? And is it all rotating the correct direction? It is backwards, I believe. I do believe it is backwards. So let's reverse that with another vertical gearbox. Cool? How cool is that? Now, because I picked up stripped oak logs, I assume that you are supposed to be crafting. Cool. Because I requested 30 gearboxes. Okay. And that should have pretty much everything back up and running again. Which is neat, right? And it's mostly from underground. Now the only guy who's going to be a little bit of a problem is going to be you. But I can fix that with a little bit of this action. Boom. Now he's spinning. Cool. 
All right, now the next thing we'll probably want to have is a vertical gearbox here. So let's make about half of these verticals. Okay. And then you, check this out, this is a neat trick. Boom, the boom. We'll see if you're spinning in the right direction. You are, look at that. Is that cool? I like this a lot, actually. Okay, now let's get you behaving redstone wise. Uh, so, is it just a redstone signal here? That should be cool. Okay, and then if we... So with you receiving a redstone signal... Oh, you need gears still. That's right, the other thing that you need is uh, the spinny bits. You need the spinny bits. Hey, aren't you receiving a redstone signal? Uh, you weren't before. You weren't before. So he did one. He did one insertion, which is fine. Okay, cool. Now, let's get this cabling run properly. Okay. And now we should be good to create a recipe over here for brass. Okay, so brass is going to be zinc and copper makes brass. And that goes into here. And if there's any other mixing that we need to do, that should be cool. So let's break this guy just so that we know he's good and set. Okay, so he should not be heated up until something goes into the basin. At which point, he'll probably get like five-ish pieces of coal, charcoal, which I'm totally fine with. Um, so let's watch uh, what happens when we request brass times ten. Ready? Boom. Look at it go. Two. That's okay. All right, so this is looking really nice. So we've got brass automated now. I wouldn't mind doing some polished rose quartz automation as well. Uh, and this could also be a pretty simple one. Um, I'm trying to think, how would that work? Because uh, it's pretty similar to what we have here. So we could just do it with a belt process. Yeah, belt process should be fine. Yeah, let's belt it. Let's belt it, A. Eh? So, let's do this. Maybe here-ish. What direction is this stuff spinning? That way? Okay. So then let's do it this way. Um, let's do this. Um, put this here. And I'm going to have another crafter facing this way. Okay. Uh, actually, no, it should be here for the crafter, right? Yes. And then another chest for the input. And then the funnel. Okay. And then we're going to want a deployer. Missing polished rose quartz, missing three brass sheets. Okay. Uh, can I just do brass sheets? Do they have to be pressed? They do have to be pressed. They do have to be pressed. Okay, so we're going to want to do that. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. How should we handle the pressing of brass sheets? That's a question. This could be the presser. What if we could, like, double it up, right? So here's a question. If we polish you, can you be stamped? I don't think so. So I wonder if I can, like, two-for-one this on a belt system. You know what I mean? Because um, if we put an interface here with a andesite funnel, can we put a deployer and a mechanical press on this guy? Does 
that doable? Do we think? So first off, let's get a little bit of grass just to get um, just to get what we need from over here manually. Because I want to get the deployer on pretty quickly too. We have the sandpaper. How about I just get these two manually crafted so I can make my deployer, and then we'll go from there. Deal? So now we should be able to get one of those, no problem. Am I crazy? Where did it go? Oh, actually, I had some. I bet. See? YouTuber blindness strikes again. So if I rotate this thing and then put you like so. That could be cool. Okay, that works for me. Now, if I were to put, and then we need to get this thing um spinning so let's do gearboxes i like that plan so we'll do a vertical here and a regular here okay and now i need to give you the sandpaper which i'll probably just set up with an export bus but for now Can't I get you to accept sandpaper? I might need to... There you go. Cool. Alright, so now watch what happens. If I get rose quartz... In theory, he should go right past the stamper and get sandpaper. Okay, cool. And now if I get brass... So I can kind it too for this, right? Bonk. Right? So then all we really us realistically need at this point would be an export bus to keep this dude happy. Okay, so let's get some cabling here. That'll bring this online. And then this can be both for anything we need to stamp and then the sandpaper application, which I think is just rose quartz, but still. Um, it, it still, you know, combines it, which is neat. Uh, and then we just need to get you... Let's get the cabling here. There's probably a good path. Yeah, I could just do it right underneath this. That works. And then can I export bus you? with a crafter card. And drag that in. So that if I remove this, he should get a new one right away. Sweet. That's cool beans. All right, now, We teach you how to make rose, basically this, yes, and then also basically this. And they both go in the same crafter here. And we could have done that for a few other operations as well if we wanted to. But for now, that should be cool, right? So now if I say, hey, give me 10 rose dudes, and remember, it's eight per thing, right? So it'll break after eight, so that's four, five, six, seven, break. Here it break, but then I got a new one. Cool. And then if I want, um, you know, ten brass plates, that shouldn't be a problem. That is super cool, right? How super cool is that? 
And then if we wanted 10 more brass plates, we need to make the brass first. And then this guy gets a redstone signal, so his thing goes on. Eh? Looking pretty solid here. Feeling pretty good about this stuff. Working pretty good, I think. What do you guys think, huh? This is not bad at all. This is not bad at all. Um, and if we wanted this to be faster, we could 100% uh, encase chain drive it if we wanted to somewhere. Like right now, everything's moving pretty quick, but I could throw one encase chain drive in there. Does that sound reasonable? Uh, what if we did this? And we removed you. Because I did kind of forget about my encased chain drive. So if I remove that... In fact, I can remove this whole bit. Actually, not that whole bit. Now I give you a redstone signal. That should make things run a little bit faster. And just for fun, I'm going to test four more of these just to see how much faster it is. That's a little quicker, right? Yeah, everything's running. Yeah, see, we can see it's 1024 stress units. And this should still give me an accurate measurement. See how much stress we have left? It's awesome. It's awesome. I am really liking this whole setup right now. Like, how great is this? Love Create. Love Create. Because it's, it's, it's so fun to play with. There's so many cool things to build. And granted, I'm not a great builder, but still, it's fun. Still, it's fun. Uh, is there anything in here I don't really need? Andesite casing. Let's take that out. Right? Let's take andesite casing out of here. And maybe put... Uh, do we have gearboxes in here? We do. Should I put... Uh, we have encased chain drives. I could put the adjustable chain drives in there. Would that be cool? That sounds cool. And now I can convert this back and then put you back in there and see how they stack up nicely. It's pretty awesome, right? Do that. Beautiful. Loving it. Okay, cool. So let's wrap up here. I think we've got a lot of the foundational create automation in that we want. Next episode, we will come back. Uh, I want to make train casings, which needs uh, the automation of andesite and brass casings. Uh, so that shouldn't be too bad, because it's really just taking stripped wood and applying brass ingots. So I think, to make a brass casing, I think what I could do is modify this process to handle... All types. I can handle all three types of casing with the same crafting system. I am sure that I could, actually. It would just require a little bit of trickery, but it should be doable. So yeah, let's come back next episode and do that. I think I should be able to get all three types of casing in the same contraption. Let's see if we can do that. For now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um... Next episode, automate the casings, and then hopefully get into trains. And what about train tracks? Ooh, that's going to be another recipe sequence. Yeah, that's going to be another recipe sequence to make. Okay, we can we can make that happen. We can do that. Uh, we can definitely do that. All right, wrap it up, point. No, point, sign off. Take it easy.